What is up, Web3 crew? I'm currently right here at the press con of BitGet for UNICEF. And currently, I am with Mr. Paul Heber, Chief Communication of UNICEF Luxembourg. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. And how's the event so far? It's been quite exciting for us to come from a small country, fly over to Dubai to talk mm -hmm. about, you know, a very important UNICEF program. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to be here today. And can you please give us a little bit background of what you are doing in UNICEF as well? I am Chief Communication at UNICEF in Luxembourg, very small office. Um, there are multiple of those small offices around the world. Our work is very different coming from a, uh, from a country that does not have programmatic work. So our mission is to inform uh, the Luxembourg residents about the work UNICEF does and then raise funds. But uh, even our work has changed a lot over, the, over time. So uh, we're also working a lot with the government, for instance, on topics that concern Luxembourg, you know, ch child rights in Luxembourg. They're not the same issues as around the world. But um, for instance, Luxembourg is about child poverty, which is very high. It's about mental health, which is a topic that is very high on our agenda. So clearly the work we do in Luxembourg is different from the work that our colleagues do around the world. You have a really powerful mission right there. And why did UNICEF decide to partner specifically with BitGet or this initiative? What aligned in your mission? Well, we're always looking for innovative ways to finance the, the work that we do for every child in the world. And so uh, crypto is an interesting way to do that. Anything you pioneer comes with its challenges. So for us, it, it took some time to understand how can it best be used? How how can we make sure that everything's transparent? How can we make sure that, that it's safe for children, that it's safe for us as an organization? Because, you know, the other currency that we work with is trust. Mm -hmm. And we need to make sure that the people trust us, right? So we need to make sure that when we partner with someone that that's a fit for everyone involved, right? And, and we need to be able to trust each other. We need to be able to, to, to use that trust mm -hmm. um, to, to further the, uh, the mission that UNICEF has. And some people are surprised when a UN agency partners with a crypto platform. And how does UNICEF ensure partnerships like this are ethical and impactful? That is an excellent question. I think it's a very important question. It's, it's, it's something, obviously, we, we start off with that sort of question. So for us, there are always exclusionary criteria that we apply. There are certain, certain partnerships that, that we would always say no to. Mm -hmm. uh, with crypto, it's, uh, you know, obviously, at the beginning, you may not know the crypto world so well. So, you know, you know again, it's about trust. So you need to, to do your homework in order to understand how it works. But in this case, it's easy because we can track everything. And we even use software to make sure that the donations we receive, that they're, they're clean. Mm -hmm. um, because that's just how it works. We, we, we would never accept donations that we cannot be sure of where the money comes from. So mm -hmm. the crypto, in this sense, I think it was an easy match. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're quite happy uh, about it so far. What's your vision for this collaboration? How do you see it empowering young women in the long run beyond the blockchain space? Well, obviously, we've always worked with young women. We always work with girls. It's all about equity and equality. UNICEF's work so that this is nothing new to us but within the crypto world I mean this really opens another door mm -hmm. um, another possibility to help uh, children and, and adolescents and in this case specifically girls in a different way than we might have before um, so for us it's just another tool in our inventory in order mm -hmm. to help uh, more children around the world do you have any messages for our viewers especially for git or for unicef as well yeah i think when it comes to crypto it's always exciting for us to work through new avenues and and the, the crypto world is sort of the future in many regards so for us mm -hmm. it's exciting to understand how we can best use those uh, tools mm. at our disposal to make sure that that you know as many children as possible can actually make use of it. Last question. It's yeah. off the topic, but that's the title of the show. Yeah. What do you think is the future of money? The future of money. Yeah, I think we've already discussed it a bit. Um, so for us, money is incredibly important. Without it, we wouldn't exist. Uh, UNICEF is an agency that has to finance a lot of its activity itself. Uh, our office in Luxembourg has to uh, finance itself entirely through donations. Mm. Um, so it's incredibly important that we use money in a respectful way, in a not wasteful way. Uh, and the other currency that I usually say that we're using, and it's not crypto in this mm -hmm. time, but it's definitely trust. So without that, um, we, we, we cannot subsist. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's trust. It's certainly donations mm -hmm. and maybe crypto can be a, a puzzle in that, uh, a piece of the puzzle. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank Paul. So much. This is me, Chris at Simmons. I hope you get a lot of insights from him. More to come only here at FOMO, the future of money.